Welcome to Imperial CAD Systems. In this video, we see Sketcher Basics in Unigraphics. Sketcher Basics covers how to create a profile in the Sketcher, how to give dimension, how to make a sketch fully constrained, mouse functions, how to change units like this we see in this video first go to file this is the next step go for new to change units see here you can change either in inches or mm and select any folder where you want to save this file name that model then go for ok then here we have a command called sketch select that sketch select any plane xy plane or a yz plane or a zx plane and go for ok see here unlike in CATIA when you get into sketcher in unique graphics you can see sketch commands over here like profile rectangle line arc etc and also you can see extrude hole pattern features blend uh, these are all uh, uh, 3d features whereas in CATIA when you get into sketcher you, you can able to see only sketch commands like line profile uh, corner etc in unique graphics also if you want to see only sketcher options then you need to do go for more here just select open in sketch task environment then you can see in sketch environment only sketcher options uh, will be visible here you can see orient to sketch option then profile see I create a simple a rectangle then mouse function see close this mouse function select this scroll button like uh, press scroll button and if you move see here object rotates object rotates do remember that then if you scroll then it zooms in zooms out zooms in zooms out the part to move your uni graphics then hold shift and scroll holding shift and scroll you can move the object see here orient to sketch also has a shortcut shift f8 if you select this then the profile will be normal to the screen nothing but normal view then how to give dimension see here automatic dimensions will be seen for unigraphics profiles in unigraphic when you create a sketch automatically dimensions uh, will be generated but it is a temporary dimensions not a permanent dimension then to give dimension one thing you can go like go for a rapid dimension and it has a shortcut D you can also press only D or select rapid dimension command select the element then you can see temporary dimension will not be visible and it is converted to this permanent dimension I give some value 140 enter then still this dimension of window is visible no need to select again rapid dimension simply select the element I want to give width give some dimension give some dimension 75 I have given now uh, like in CATIA or other uh, uh, solid work the color of the under constraint sketch will be white color 
when you give full dimension that means uh, when you make a sketch iso constraint in cat here it is visible in green color but to know the status of the sketch in uni graphics always the uh, the color is in green color only so you have to see that sketch is a fully constrained with the two auto dimension here in this status bar it should show the sketch is fully constrained it shouldn't show like this auto dimension should not be visible so two auto dimensions see here we can see see here this one this one so to make this uh, sketch fully constrained go for dimensions d you can press either d you can select this you can either select this or you can directly double click on the like this temporary dimension see if in your drawing input if the dimension requires here then simply no need to go for again rapid dimension simply double click on that i go for 50 then double click on this vertical dimension and go for 30 then the sketch is a fully constrained see now you can see that sketch is fully constrained if i give some more dimension to this profile which doesn't require then it shows in red color the only the dimensions uh, will be visible in a red color that means it is over constrained sketch you can able to see here to delete a dimension right click on that and delete like this you have to give dimension as we have already known like there are two types of constraint one is dimensional constraint and another is a geometrical constraint say suppose i want to coincide this line with a vertical axis means instead of making this value zero apply geometrical constraint how to apply geometrical constraints in uni graphics see here geometric constraint you can either select here or just uh, simply go for c the letter c select this here we have uh, options geometrical options geometric constraint options see select collinear here select this line and axis keep collinear select this line and an axis like this in this way you have to apply geometric constraint you can also go for enter c for this c i am just typing i am just selecting c see again it is visible see i go for line see i want to make this line horizontal then simply go for c or a geometric constraint select horizontal here see that becomes horizontal line i go for a circle i want to connect this circle tangentially to this line and this line go for geometric constraint keep this tangent option on keep this always on automatically selection automatic selection progression so that you can simply select elements or else uh, you have to select uh, this option first circle again second option second line if it is on simply directly select a circle and line then this is the tangency symbol here you can see this is collinear symbol this is horizontal symbol once you finish the sketch that means once the sketch becomes fully constrained then here we can see the option finish that means it will take you to the pot modeling workbench the profiles we got in pot modeling workbench to get back again to sketch a workbench you simply select here double click that again you can get into sketch a workbench see here in this uh, if you won't get into open in sketch task environment orient to sketch 
orient to sketch your ear you need to find here at this place it will not be visible okay when you get into sketch environment then you can see orient to sketch thank you for watching this video if you want to see more videos subscribe imperial cat system thank you